Hey everybody, this is Craig from Nine Volt Games, and today I'm going to do something that I thought I did in the past. Uh, I'm going to review Devil May Cry 4. Now, I actually did do a review for this, but I think I did it two months ago, three months ago. And I think I did so shitty in it that I just never posted it. <laughs> but, oh by the way, let me clear this out of the way. And no, I don't like dislike you, but stop asking me that. After yesterday, after two days ago, I posted a video for it already. <laughs> oh, anyways. Oh, and constantly asking me if I'm done with Devil May Cry will actually stop me from finishing Devil May Cry. Anyways, so Devil May Cry 4. I enjoy Devil May Cry 4 a lot. And I'm gonna just give you a quick rundown because my last review was so long-winded because I did so poorly in the gameplay portion. So I'll do a rundown real quick. Um, Dante was a lot tamer than the other Dantes we've known. Da uh, Dante actually was about to be bridged into what it was Dante from Devil May Cry 4, which I'll get into right after this. Because um, this is a question that people will ask me if I do not address. I loved Nero. I loved Nero's character. Um, I loved the story that surrounded Nero. I liked that it was a chick that drove him and not some like selfish need to be cool. Um, it was really like a relationship with a girl that drove him to be the way he was um, and almost drove him into being evil and I liked him gameplay wise because I like the grabs which they totally carried over into the new DMC and I think that's why I appreciate the gameplay a little more is because it's everything that's purely Dante and then they still kept parts of Nero which I know there's not a lot of people that like I, stutter. I know there's not a lot of people that like Nero but whether you like it or not Devil May Cry 4 Dante you're really just a backdrop in that game Nero is the show now, granted, after you play through with Nero, Dante comes through and he does, you know, the, he's the cleanup batter for everything. So, in Devil May Cry 4, you play through the first half as Nero, whether you like it or not. But then, by the end of Nero's portion, you're just like, alright, well, this guy's still pretty good. In fact, he comes out to be really badass, and then Dante comes through and just is like, oh yeah, you think that guy's badass? I'm barely going to say shit, and I'm going to destroy everybody. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm eating candy while I'm doing this. So, Dante's still badass in this. He's a lot less talkative. He's still very cocky. Just the Dante we know. He sounds tired in this game. And I don't know if it was the intent of Capcom when they made this game, being like, the next one's going to be a reboot. Let's try and introduce a new character and try and push Dante to the sidelines. That's really what it felt like in this. Um, and what happened was, oh yeah, this is the timeline thing. I accepted it because the official timeline, and you can look this up, you can call, or I mean email Capcom, and they will email you back. The official timeline for Devil May Cry is 3, 1, 4, 2. I've always taken it as 2 was a horrible, horrible game. The Dante was not Dante. But if you think of it in the coordinates of the timeline, 3, he was obnoxious, which was the best one. Um, 1, he was still cocky, still obnoxious. 4, like I said, is like he started to tone down. He had some stubble on his face. And 2, he looked like a vampire. <laughs> he looked like he was a 1,000 years old, and he was just a bitter, bitter dude. And if you think about it in accordance with the timeline, like, he slowly progressed into that. So, say what you want about 2. 2 is, as far as I know, and I haven't heard different. I heard someone try and tell me this, but without actually having proof. But 2 is canon. Um, I haven't heard Capcom say otherwise, and if you email them about the timeline, they still will include 2. And then DMC is not Devil May Cry 5. I see a lot of, a lot of publications, a lot of respected, all-knowing publications online saying that this is Devil May Cry 5 or DMC is Devil May Cry 5 and it is not. It is Devil May Cry. It has nothing to do in the coordinates of this actual story with this good Dante. Um, <laughs> not that new Dante is bad. But, um, oh. I'm just going to jump into a real quick, uh, I guess I'll be using Nero. I don't know. What's going on here, man? I haven't played this in a while. Oh, I started on Son of Sparta. Sure. I haven't played in a while. Let's jump into Son of Sparta. Actually, I took this opportunity because I was like, I can re-upload my old one if I really wanted to. 
but I'm not going to do that. I am going to play this one after I've been playing Devil May Cry for three days straight, the new DMC. And let's see how, uh, um, 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 hold on. Let's see how bad I do. Let's see how close it actually is to the old Devil May Cry, the new Devil May Cry. And I'll tell you. All right, so we're going to skip video because the story is... I don't want to give away any of the story. You know what? Devil May Cry, you need to get fully invested. Someone help me! Basically, Dante comes in as the bad guy in the beginning of this game. I see this skip this part, I can say. Dante comes in as a bad guy. He blasts the priest away. Boom. Then you come to find out that all this religion shit is just bullshit, and they're all demons, and they take Kyrie, and he's not a fan of it. <laughs> when Dante slowly shows Nero that this everything is bullshit, then he and Dante still don't like each other, but they become, you know, allies. I need to show you me, me doing it, not him just tearing it up. Oh my god, I've done so bad. I've done so bad in that, like... I don't remember shit about this. <laughs> I apparently did my devil trigger. Oh yeah, some charging on my sword. Alright, not too great, not too bad. I still don't remember the combat system. I haven't played it in so long. I'd do much better with Dante. See, all this, all this uh, puzzle-style stuff, because most of this game is just puzzle. It's all gone. There we go. Well, I was right when I said this. Devil May Cry, the new Devil May Cry comparison to 4, the new one actually moves a lot more fluid with the combat. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't. I don't remember the moves because I've been poisoned now. There's actually less buttons in this one than there is in the other one, if that makes sense, because you make use of all the buttons. Um, there was less attack options. And that could just be because my skills are... I don't. They're not there, but I'm pretty sure I bought everything. Yeah, I bought everything in this game, so I don't understand. Hey, you must be a YouTube watcher, and guess what? You just became my friend <laughs> during the video. Um, so, you know, that's the basic gist of the game. It, it plays like that. Devil May Cry's are super repetitive. What makes Devil May Cry stand out amongst the other ones is that there's a lot of variety mix up with your guns. Obviously, you didn't sh I didn't show you in there because it was, for one, is the second mission. Two, I'm very rusty. Um, you can make this very stylish. Um, check my achievements if, if, if you feel like I, I do poorly in, in these games. I don't. I actually have done very well in that game with S rankings. Which you can... <laughs> You can stack up your skills, you know, um, you can stack up abilities for different weapons, and blah, blah, blah. 
and that actually cuts the repetition down while you're still doing the same thing over and over. And don't, don't get me wrong, Devil May Cry, that's really all you do is the same thing. Puzzle, combat, 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 cutscene, puzzle, combat, cutscene, combat, 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 cutscene, combat, combat, puzzle, maybe, I don't know, bring it back to the beginning. And then you can use that key all the way back in the fucking first door of the game. And, oh, now you're at the end. No, you're not. You're not at the end. You're at a boss. That's how Devil May Cry works. Um, and you just, just rinse, lather, rinse, repeat. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I say it like that, and it sounds boring, but it's not. Devil May Cry, actually, it, you start off like, oh. Uh, you start off getting A's, maybe. I don't know why I look like I was juggling balls when I did that. Um, <laughs> uh, you start off getting like B's and A's and then all of a sudden you upgrade your skills and now you're getting S's so you're trying all this fancy shit and you're like you know what I want to try off new skills and that's what makes Devil May Cry so great and Devil May Cry 4 definitely has that in volumes because you not only play as Dante uh, Nero but you play as Dante back through again and Dante's got his own unique stuff and Nero has his own unique stuff the only complaint about the whole game in comparison um, to the other ones is that one half of the game is done this way, in these areas, in this order, and then the other half of the game is done this way, just back through with the same exact crap you've already played with Nero as what you played through with Dante. And that wouldn't be so much of a complaint because they're so different, but it's just ambitious. It was the next-gen Devil May Cry, and they kind of took a cop out on level design. But if that's the worst complaint, I don't know. I felt it was a great story. Uh... I felt like the voice acting was awesome, the writing was awesome, and it was, like, really emotionally driven. Like, you felt for Nero at certain parts, that's all I'll say. Like, you wanted him to be badass. And there's another point where, like, right when you became Dante, and, you know, the whole Nero-Dante shit, like, comes to a head, and then you're just Dante, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna fuck people up for Nero. And that was, like, that was one of the coolest parts of the game. So it definitely is ranked high up there. Um... To me, nothing beats Devil May Cry 1 uh, as, like, a whole presentation. Um, but Devil May Cry 4 is, is definitely a close second to me. Um, Devil May Cry 3, I don't know. I just love them all equally. Yes, I even love 2. If you go back and, and with the mindset that I had of 2, you actually might like it. Um, they're all good. I can't really say I have any favorites. I don't know. I just kind of wish that the old Dante from 3 was back, because he was my favorite. He was just so arrogant and obnoxious. Like, you know, when you're fighting Cerberus, and he comes out and he's like... <laughs> like, that's my favorite. And the, he does, Dante doesn't have that anymore. I don't know. Even starting with 4, not, it's not necessarily just the new one. Even starting with 4, Dante doesn't really have that. Yes, he does. I do believe that he was still there. Never mind. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Oh, and thank you for waiting, too. I know, I said I did this a long time ago, and I didn't. Yeah, those are Gears of War pants.